hello welcome back to your new lesson in this lesson I am going to show you how you can use your branch instruction into our microcontroller programming the branch instruction changes the flow of execution or this branch instruction can be used to call a routine it's like a function into C programming this type of instruction allows program to have subroutines something like if then else structure and loops the change of execution flows forces the program counter PC to point to a new address and the syntax of this type of instructions are as follows there is a V and then optional condition and then it has a label where programmer want to jump so the B and the condition and then there is a BL and then condition and then label and then we have a BX optional condition and then to the RM and then we have a BLX condition label and RM so let's say you have a memory address and it is divided into the many parts here let's say and your program counter is here your PC is here and let's say a label is here that's mean you want PC to execute instruction from the address of this label then what happens when we write the B the B indicate that PC would be loaded with new address that is indicated by label and if we write BL and the label in this case you might have noticed that R14 when we were discussing about general purpose registers and the special function registers R14 was a link register okay so the link register then then what it do then it is stores first this link PC into the link register and then finally it jumps back to the label so what happens if we write BL in this case PC is loaded with label and LR would be loaded with the PC so what we can say instead of writing this it will first load this link register with the address of current PC plus uh, the next instruction in, in fact so what do you say LR would be loaded with the address of next instruction to be executed next instruction let's say if your PC is here and before jumping to the new address and PC is going to execute this address then this address will be stored into link register and then PC would be loaded with new address that is pointed by label right and if we use instruction like bx then bx used for branch and instruction mode change what does it mean we have a two type of instruction mode one is a thumb mode and another one is arm mode 
so if we use this bx and blx we use these two type of instruction to change our mode and the mode is decided based on the first bit of a register rm register right so if it is written like this bx and rm so in this case what happens the last bit of this rm let's say here this is the zeroth bit this decide in which mode do you want to execute the instruction thumb mode or r mode one thing also important to notice here is that thumb mode is a 16 bit and r mode is 32 bit that's mean the memory address on which this r processor is executing the last two address let's say the xx that is the don't care that is don't care in case of r mode instruction and there is only single bit is don't care in case of thumb mode Uh, in fact, uh, this is not like that. Uh, this, this is 32 bit. Okay, so the 32 bit. In fact, it will be. The address will be decoded. 32 bit means it will be the four byte. In fact. Okay, and this will be. For two byte, yes. So the for four byte its last two digit actually doesn't play much role into uh, address decode while processor is running into R mode and the last bit doesn't play anything if processor is running into thumb mode it's like that let's take an example if your PC is at 0x00 address and let's say you are running your microcontroller into R mode instruction set then what will be the next instruction as per the instruction size is 32 bit then of course the next instruction will reside here that's the one zero um, in fact 0x00, zero x zero zero uh, the next instruction will be at 4 and next instruction will be 008 right since here see 0 1 2 and 3 okay so this is the 4 byte instruction 4 byte instruction will be placed for arm and then here once again we have 4 5 6 and 7 so this is another 4 byte and the similarly here so if you notice here this is and if you notice here and uh, let's say we represent this into a binary digit then what we can say first one will be the 00, zero and this next one will be the 0 100 zero zero, and then this third one will be 100 zero. and if you notice here this last two digit is always 0 okay so this is always zero that means if processor is running into R mode then the instruction instructions are word aligned okay the instructions are word aligned that's mean 4 byte of memory okay 